Okay, this is Blake here. We're going to try this again. Uh, I was going to stream some Unreal. I had technical issues per usual. Uh, as it turns out, when you're playing old Unreal, you need to uh, apply a patch, which is not atypical for old games. It's sometimes... Excuse me. It sometimes is the case where uh, old games just, they don't work that well on modern computers until you, you know, apply a patch. So here we go. Um, now it should run at the correct speed. We're going to play us some uh, Unreal. So new game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, medium, and uh, you'll see how skilled I am at Unreal, and we'll go ahead and play the game. One problem I have uh, with this game that still exists, even though this game is generally Prisoner pretty good. Escaping. I'm, I'm escaping, by the way. Uh, this game's generally pretty good, but it does have some problems with, um, like, for instance, the uh, the HUD is not, it doesn't scale fonts very well. As you can see from that tiny, tiny text that says you got some bandages. Um, it's not a problem with things like, you know, you got some bandages. It's kind of a problem with the, uh, the lower right there where that's actually my special ability counters. So, you know, when I get special abilities, that's where they show up. And, um, unfortunately, there's, it's gonna be hard to, to read those. Okay, so I got my translator, which, um, I've already forgotten how to use. I think it's, uh, E? No, hang on. Uh, oh, did my, con my controls might have gotten reset. No, oh, maybe not. Um, translator, buddy. Translator, where's your message? I could have sworn I set it to F, but F is apparently crouching. Hang on a sec. We're going to do the most exciting part of video games, which is looking at the controls. Okay. Fire, left mouse. Um, right mouse. Next weapon. Uh, wheel down, wheel up. I don't know what gray plus is, so, you know, there you go. Move forward, move back. Uh, wait, I don't want to turn. Oh, shit. Damn it. Hang on a sec. This is a problem. Okay, fire, left mouse. Uh, turn right, turn left. Let's ignore them. A, D, jump, crouch is C. That's okay. Um, I'll never walk. Strafe. I'm going to use the strafe key. Activate item is set to F by default. Let's, uh, I mean, uh, enter by default. Let's set it to F. Next on previous, let's go ahead and do Q and E. Um, I'll never use those keys. Those are all multiplayer. So here we go. I think we're set. Okay. F. Okay, there we go. So now you can see the, uh, the translator is working. Uh, be kind to your cellmate. Violence will not be tolerated. So, um, crouch. Oh, you have to hold down to crouch. Okay, good. Uh, good. Let's get that flare. I see a flare there. Oh, good. Now we got another item. So E to select the item. Okay, good. Doing good. Doing good playing this game. Uh, diary. I'm not gonna watch that. That spazzing light is giving me a headache. Uh, prisoners are escaping. So anyway, if you couldn't, if you couldn't tell, we are on a prison ship, and our prison ship is basically crashed. And uh, now we have a chance to escape. As you can see, all of our oh Jesus Christ, oof! All of our jail cells have broken open and uh, released us. And um, what we need to do is maneuver over to this air vent, which is enormous, man-sized air vent, the best size. And, uh, oh, shist. Um, we're gonna use this air vent to escape our, our prison fate here. Um, I don't think this green stuff is actually poisonous. It's just for visuals. Uh, they were showing off the Unreal Engine was one of the early, in fact, a lot of people made fun of this at the time, but one of the early graphics engines that supported, uh, colored, colored lighting as a feature. It also supported reflections. As you can see, the floor here is highly reflective. I'm not going to go through that yet. Um, oh, here's the... Oh. Well, that guy died when I got close to him. Uh, my translator is going nuts here. Navigators, log, uh, vortex rikers are on route to the prison moon. Uh, long range sensors, uh, detecting magnetic masses. The captain has ordered to change of course. Okay. And basically this stuff, these monitors give you the backstory of the ship crashing. 
Here's the thing. No one no one in the history of Unreal has played Unreal to experience the story of Unreal. But um, basically, we're in a spaceship, and it crashed. And it's a prison ship, and it's going to a prison colony, and we can't get that armor yet. Uh, oof. Did that lever just raise that elevator? Yeah, it does. Okay, so now we're on the lower level of the, of the bridge, I believe. And uh, here's a doorway we can't quite get through. Uh, but there is a third, even lower, lower level. Well, I'll just jump. Unfortunately, this game, one thing it does not give you is a flashlight, which is... Oof, something hit me a little bit there. Uh, it is a very, very dark game. And actually, I remember even the original release, it was like, wow, this game's, like, really dark. Like, you gotta turn up your monitor brightness to see this game. So, uh, our translator, if you want to, you can read the navigator's log. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the translation stuff. Oof, that guy got squished a little bit, uh, by that piece of, uh, ceiling that came down. That's not good. Um, anyway, almost every corpse you come across has, like, a diary log that has some, your translator will say, oh, hey, this guy has a log. He logged a message before he died. I'm just gonna mostly ignore those, and... Until we get to the Nali, I might I might watch the translations for the stuff the Nali says. Okay, this is a great part of the game. So what's happening is there's some guys beyond that door. And uh, as you can tell from the audio there, um, bad stuff happened. Okay, so they got gibbed by some kind of... Oof. Alien that's running off. You can barely see him at the distance there. I think he's supposed to actually disappear, isn't he? I'm not supposed to be able to attack him. Okay, he's running off now. That's not working the way I remember it. I don't think at this point you're supposed to attack the alien. Um, usually he disappears. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't. He doesn't let you. Uh, he doesn't let you attack him. He uh, runs away very quickly, very fast. But the good news is I have a gun. Uh, the left click is a, is a gun that regenerates ammo. The right click, if you hold it down, you can shoot like six or seven bolts at once. And it's just a more powerful blast. It just, you know, multiplies by whatever, however long you hold, held it down. Pretty simple weapon. Um, as you'll see in this game, the, uh, the right click abilities on these weapons get a little ridiculous. Uh, we can break glass now with our gun, so we can get things that are behind glass. I don't think we can get that shield. I don't, actually, I'll, I'll admit it, because I'm, you know, I'm not proud, but I'm not sure how to get that, um, that body armor that we, uh, that we saw earlier on. Let's go ahead and use this elevator. Okay, so that takes us up here. Another corpse. Whenever the ship shakes, I kind of lose my foot in there. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, so we found this guy's office here. And, uh... In case of emergency break glass, so we'll shoot it to break it. And there's an escape hatch in the middle of the ship. So let's... Uh, sorry, that chirping sound is, um... That chirping sound is my uh, translator going nuts, saying, Hey, there's a message you can read if you want to read it, but I don't, so... Oh! What's this? We have... We have exited the ship, and I can shoot this bunny rabbit and kill it. Okay, we have exited the ship, so if I walk a little bit in the distance and turn around, you can see this is the uh, Vortex Riker. Or Rikers, I suppose. Uh, and there's its uh, NC number on the on the little flashing nameplate. Uh, so, it's a very ugly spaceship. Of course, we don't know what it looked like before it was blown to crap and squished into the uh, canyon here, so... We'll assume it looked better originally, I suppose. Let's see what this guy had to say. Uh, situation's critical. Last night, large, powerful alien forces penetrated our camp, fired small missiles from hand launchers. Lost five men. Okay. Uh, no reply to distress signal. Ooh, hey, there's a pistol over there. Okay, so we're crashed on this planet. We don't know anything about it, but we do know... I'll tell you this, I actually didn't read the log, but I'll tell you this. There is an alien race called the Scarge, which humanity's at war with in this. Well, I think the Scarge are pretty much at war with anyone. They're like the warlike Klingon guys of the Unreal Universe. And they, um, 
they were sighted in the area before our ship went down. And of course the question is, well, did they have anything to do with our ship going down? And the answer to that is, I, I don't know. Uh, Unreal is one of the relatively early games that let you swim even underwater, which is great. Um, it's not really relevant to this level, but I think later on there are levels that, whoops. Well, I can't figure out how to get out of the water. No, I think later on there are levels that require you to swim, if I remember correctly. Um, Half-Life is the other early game that did a lot of swimming. I think it was, it came out a couple years, whoops. I accidentally used the team say command, sorry. Uh, I think it came out a couple years after this game, or maybe one year after this game, I can't remember. You can look it up on Wikipedia if you really care to know when Half-Life came out relative to Unreal. Uh, I should mention that I'm playing Unreal Gold, which is the Steam... Uh, basically, it's the Steam... Well, it's like the Gold Edition, you know, which means it has the... Um, there was a... They didn't call it DLC at the time, but there was an expansion called uh, Return to Napali. And uh, this game has that. So if I do end up playing through the entire game, we can go and do the, uh, the expansion. Whoa, don't want to fall down there. That's quite a cliff. But we can climb... Uh, in the, the dirt crater, I don't know how else to describe it, that our ship made. And go down here. There's a crate here. Whoops, I shouldn't waste my, uh, I shouldn't waste my bullets on that. There's a crate here that you can, uh, destroy and pick up health packs out of. So that's good. I didn't really need a health pack, but there you go. And, um, this is our crash site. As you can see, there's a couple more corpses strewn about. Uh, that guy did not, didn't have a diary. There's some really chirpy thing. I should mention, by the way, when this game came out, this was state-of-the-art graphics, and this was gorgeous compared to anything else at the time. In fact, even, like like I said, Half-Life, I believe, came out later than this game. Even compared to Half-Life, this is, this is a prettier game. This looks better. And uh, that was his claim to fame. So, like I said, don't expect, like, a super deep story. Uh, oh, damn it. I gotta change the team sync key, key. I keep... I keep effing this up. Okay, hang on a sec. I gotta... Uh, sorry. Sorry. There is a... There is a control that's driving me nuts. Uh, I don't want team chat to be R. Let's just move it way over. How do I get rid of R? There we go. Whatever. That'll work. I don't care what it is as long as it's not R, because I'll hit that by accident all the time. This game, I believe, does not... I could be wrong. I don't think this game has reload. Actually, now that I said that, I have to check. It's going to drive me nuts. I think you just reload when your weapon's empty, or the weapons just don't require reloading at all, which I think is more likely. Back in the old days, games like this did not uh, did not have reload keys. Now, what? Wait, now how did I get to team say? Okay, well, R isn't it. How do I keep doing that? Is it still R? SP... Oh, damn it, I, f I effed it up. So now my left click is, oh god. This is not, um, it's not a win for usability here. I somehow made my left mouse button to be team say. Okay, hang on. Fire, gun, good. Left, right, uh, switch item, switch item, switch item, F, activate item, and then fire, and then no team say if I hit R. Okay, there we go proceed in the game now that we've done all the boring technical shit. Um, like a lot of ga this games in this era, you can smash crates. Oh shit, enemies. You can smash crates and uh, get items out of the crates. This is... Oh, look, that's the guy he was talking about. Oh god, that's irritating. Uh, they fire missiles out of their arms. And so, this game is uh, teaches you how to strafe. Wow, that's loud, sorry. Uh, very early, it teaches you how to strafe. Okay, so that's our first challenge of the game. We did pretty good. Let's eat these, uh, this nolly fruit, nolly healing fruit. Uh, I always had a joke with my friends that they should have named this game Nolly Madness, or subtitled it Nolly Madness. Unreal Nolly Madness. Anyway, uh... So we can explore this little tunnel system. There's an elevator down here. I actually, I can't remember which way to go. Let's, let's try going to the top floor before we go downstairs. So we're going to go back through where these enemies came from. Uh, oh, and it's an elevator going up. So do I want to go up or down is the question. Let's go down first. So let's go ahead and go down here. And um, well, I thought I'd called the elevator, but I guess it went away while I was going here. Oh, 
Okay. So let's get in the elevator. Write it down. Way the door is there it is um okay so now the cool thing is that oh shit enemies 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 oh that guy i think took more hits than the guys up above but either way he didn't hit me so it doesn't really matter so now where are we oh well look at that uh we are right below where our ship crashed in this beautiful little lagoon area and we can kind of explore here a bit. I actually, I, I literally do not remember if you're supposed to go up or down. But there is another house down here. So let's go ahead and explore. Um, whoever lived down here did, didn't care if they lived in civilization or not. This is really the middle of nowhere. But hey, whatever. This might be our first glimpse of the Nali, and it is. Okay. So, what are the Nali? The Nalis are the aliens that are native to this planet. Uh, my burden does not end. More minions have been cast down by the angry gods. I will pray for their souls. I fear my prayers are not heard. I must travel to the temple to seek balance. Okay. So this, uh, this alien also has a little bit of ammo in his, in his fireplace that I can actually grab if I can figure out how to jump up there. There we go. They're very progressive aliens. They, uh, they are aliens, but they also have ammo. And what you can see he's doing here, he's actually praying over the souls of one of the guards from the ship that destroyed that got destroyed. So, here's the deal. So we are human, and our ship crashed here. We're a prison ship. We were on our way to a prison colony, we crashed here. Uh, the other ship that they either shot us down or was also crashed is a, uh, oh no, they didn't shoot us down, the Scars. The Scars are the other ship, right? Now the Scars are like the Klingons of this universe. They're warlike, and they also hold the Nali as slaves. And if I remember right, the Nali are basically working in mines for the Scars. And that's basically kind of the plot of this game. Now, I think there's a secret over there. If I jump in the water, let's see. Hopefully, this won't just... Yeah, okay, good. So, I need to figure out how to get to this other bank here. Um, and I think... Oh, oh no, there's little bugs are biting me. Is there an elevator? Yes, there is an elevator. That's right. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of remembering this game. So, now I can explore the other bank. I don't know if there's anything over here. There's not only healing fruit, which is good makes up for the bug bites I got bit with. And uh, let's see what else we discover. Something interesting. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh, by the way, this gun actually is a light source. You can kind of use it as a crappy flashlight. Uh, but it's not a very good flashlight. Okay, well, there's absolutely nothing here. So let's go ahead and go back through that tunnel. And I don't know why I walked all that time just to get to nowhere. Um, there's no run key in this game. There's actually a walk key that slows you down if you want to go slow. But, uh, I don't, so... Uh, back in the era they made this game, you always just ran. And that's just the one speed you ran at. And it's actually kind of rare for you to even have a walk key. Oh, hey, so we're back where we came from. I actually didn't need to jump in the water to do that. Okay, so let's take this elevator back up. And again, I don't... Yeah, the elevators never seem to exit the same, the same direction you enter from, which is very annoying. Okay, so we're going to go on the upper path. But before we do that, we're going to save our game. And there we go. Who knows if I will die. I should save just in case. More of those um, missile hand guys up here. Their hands fire mini missiles. Okay, here we go. There's a piece of armor up there. Now, of course, the challenge here is you need to not blow up the crates, because if you blow up the crates, you can't get the armor. I believe that's the challenge. I, don't, I honestly don't know what the challenge is. Is that the challenge? It might be something like you have to actually activate the elevator and then jump off it when it goes up a little bit. Yes. Okay, there we go. I got the armor. Yes. I am a genius of our times. Okay, good. Um, so let's go ahead and now we're up here. Up, oh, enemies. If I was using the bullet weapon, by the way, which maybe I'll switch to and use for a little bit, I'd probably be killing those guys quite a bit quicker. And it is providing me plenty of ammo for it, so I might as well. Uh, let's use our translator. What does this guy say? I was attacked by a flying beast. It used its tail as a weapon. I was able to kill it, but not without taking a beating. The orange berries have a healing effect. 
Okay, we knew that. The Nolly Fruit, Nolly Madness. Unreal 2, Nolly Madness. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, keep in mind that these bunnies are harmless, but I'm going to shoot them anyway. Like that. And then uh, also keep in mind that there are flying enemies that use their tails as weapons, according to that guy who just died. And I don't know, what does this guy have to say? Uh, I can't get past the brutes to go back is to help, to help my brother. The ammo's almost out. Brutes patrol around at all times. Whoa. Hey, look, is it one of the flying enemies that uses its tail as a weapon? It very well might be. By the way, if I remember right, in my memory, I mean, I might not remember right, because it's been a long time since I've played this game, but the Nolly Fruit, I believe, actually do come back if you wait long enough. They're a renewable health resource, I believe. And, uh, the lighting, the spazzy lighting here was probably considered very, uh, graphically impressive at the time, but now it's more annoying than anything. It's like, uh... Actually, even at the time when this was played, like, 10, 24 by 768 screens, oops, the, uh, the lighting probably more likely to cause a seizure than a press bit, so. Okay, this is... Wow, that guy... I don't know what's up with him. Luckily, he didn't do much damage. So, is this... Yeah, this is back out the way I came. I want to eat that nolly fruit. Where was it? I thought there was nolly fruit out here, but maybe there isn't. Well, shit. There's also this direction I haven't gone down in. Oh, hey, there's supplies here. I have to help back, so I don't need the nolly fruit. Is this, uh, is this a door I can go through? There's a flare. Oh, I can't. Okay, hang on. Let's let's continue the way I was going before I start going a different direction. And you know, this is also uh, made in the era before, like the. Um, the Skyrim like level design where they always ensure that if you go through a passage you'll never have to backtrack. Uh, in this game I'm sure there's actually probably tons of backtracking and I remember in particular there's a couple jumping puzzles that were really annoying because they involved backtracking. Also I didn't even need to exit this area to get the uh, whatever. I got a clip. Let's go ahead and switch to this better weapon. Oh hey all of that work and this is just um this is just a nothing so Good. Dead end. I guess it's just supplies in here. That took me... I cleared out the room and then left to find health and then went back in the room and then found out there was nothing in the room. So I'm very good at this game, as you can see. Okay, now before I go into this particular tunnel, I'm going to save. Actually, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to save, but I'm also going to look up what the quick save key is. Um... Another is a quick save. Check out inventory, view, game. I think it's one of the function keys, but unfortunately it doesn't feel like. Is it F6 and F9? F6? Okay, F6 is quick save. F7 is quick load. Okay, good. There we go. Quick save is F6. I'll try to keep that in my head so I won't have to look it up again. Anyway, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm pretty sure that. Beyond that door is your first experience fighting a Scarge. And the Scarge are mean mofos. They are bad ass is. I gotta kill this guy though. Whoops, my aim is kinda off a little bit. See, the main tactic here is circle strafing. Uh, you can defeat those enemies just by making sure you have enough room to maneuver. That's really all you need to do, uh, because their missiles are deadly and dangerous, but they are very slow. Okay, so let's ride this elevator down. Now that I know what the quick save is, I'm going to save like a fiend. Oh! Shit, an enemy! It hangs from the ceiling and fires uh, little needles at me. There we go. Killed it. Good on me. That uh, Half-Life actually had an enemy relatively similar to that, except for instead of firing needles, it had a long tongue that came down and sucked you up. Okay, here is, I believe, it's a long time since I played this, but if my memory serves, this is where the Scarge first appears. Also, these steps have to be for a secret, right? 
Cliffy B made this level, and he wouldn't have put these steps here unless I needed to get up on top of this for some reason. I wonder if he can do the jump crouch thing to jump a little bit higher in this game. Doesn't doesn't appear to be able. Okay, well whatever. Let's ignore that. And uh, a lot of corpses. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it's gonna be scary. Oh wait, this guy first. I have to kill this guy first. Okay, well I killed that guy first. Um. Out of the crate. Oh, I got a shield belt. Okay. Shield belt is, uh, I believe in this game the shield belt is just armor. Um. Okay, so I turned off these things. And now we're gonna go back the way we came. But what you'll find out is that the music changes and. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? This scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, by the way. In fact, it probably is going to scare the shit out of me now. Let's be frank. It's also a good showpiece for showing off their lighting engine. And then you're like, now what? And then... Ah! Shit, shit, shit! It's the Scourge! Oh, um... He's a heck of a lot easier to kill than I remember. Okay, well, I killed the Scarge, and he gave me a little health for killing him. Let's get the heck out of here, because I don't like that lighting. It's uh, spassing out and making my eyes hurt. Here we go. Uh... Oh. This guy somehow spawned down here. I don't know where he came from. By the way, one thing I'm not sure about this game, I'm not sure if it has headshots. I'm guessing not, but I could be wrong on that. That was also, headshots were a concept that I'm not sure were invented at the time this game was, was put out. Alrighty. Bye. Okay, good, he's dead. Um, I'm actually not sure I went the right way. I'm not sure I'm supposed to go back up here. I do know that there's ammo up here, and I do know that this cliff, I think, is important. out of the window and it caused problems. It caused many problems, but whatever. I still have full health, so whatever problems it caused are not that big a deal, I suppose. Oh, that's explosive, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Let's try it out. Yes. Yes. Good explosions. Uh, the nice thing about the translator is it will translate this alien, uh, alien language. And what that's saying is, uh, warning, force field disabled. And I believe the force field is disabled because I, uh, went down and, and disabled, turned off that power thing. And I'm actually pretty sure that um, they expect you to come through here, find the force field. Oh, damn it. Wow, that thing uh, is annoying. Uh, luckily, my shield belt is absorbing all the damage I'm taking right now, so oh, damn it. Okay, it's uh, really hard to kill the enemies when the ground is shaking. I think I am ready for my new weapon now. Pistol. However, the good news is I'm picking up ammo. That's those uh, blue shards or ammo from. God damn this shaking! The screen shaking is really the most irritating thing about this game. Oh hey, this guy's friendly. He wants me to come with him. Okay, so these friendly uh, Nolly. They show you where secrets are in the game. It's actually pretty clever. I liked this when I was a kid. I thought it was pretty clever. So he's, he's signaling me to follow him. So if I follow him... Oh, shit. He's gonna die to a scar. Uh, if I'd followed him and he stayed alive, what you would have seen is he'd direct me to a secret door, which he could then open. But since he didn't live, um, it's not gonna happen. Sorry, guys. 
I don't know where he was directing me to, but uh, I guess the uh, key to doing those segments are uh, clearing out all the enemies from the area first, and then getting the, the, the follow the nolly, follow the nolly. The elevator I came in, I actually can't remember anymore. I did climb past this broken thing. unpleasant, so I'm going to have to walk this tightrope, and then if I shoot that, it'll raise up. Oh, I guess I could have probably just raised it up before I walked on it, but hey, whatever. I'm not, I'm not Mr. Unreal Expert, am I? Am I? The answer is no. Okay, here we go. Got through that cave section. Let's quick save. I don't want to replay any of this. Oh, shit, another Scarge. By the way, I have no idea what these guys are shooting out of their hands. It's just kind of a light orb. They shoot light orbs out of either hand. Oh, shit. Here's a buddy with a rocket launcher. I remember when I was a kid, I always thought these rocket launcher guys uh, were in many ways more dangerous than the Scarge, even though the Scarge are supposed to be like the big, the big dudes, you know? The big enemy dudes. Okay, as you can see, I'm solving a puzzle here. Involves me hitting a lot of switches. There's another scars behind that door. See, the scars move like crazy. Like, they move fast as fuck. But, their weapons are actually just as easy to dodge as the missiles, and they don't have splash damage. As I said, I'm totally failing at shooting this one. Okay, I think I got him. Yeah, now what? Oh, it's one of those planty things. Okay, well, I uh, don't want to fight him. I want to get these crates. Give me all the goodies in the crates. I'm already down to 54 health, actually, I just noticed. So let's quick save here. Um... Wow, that, that scar is really uh, kicking my ass. Oh, Jesus. Everything's kicking my ass. I am bad at games. Wow, I am... I am unironically bad at games. I'm not making this up. That was awful. Uh, I hope this isn't going to be like um, like System Shock 2, where I had all these these great memories about it, and then it turns out that I'm actually really bad at actually playing the game. Shit. One at a time. Let's kill this charge, and then we'll worry about the plan. Okay, Scarge is dead. Now there's a plant up here. Plants. Oh, I got hit again. Jesus. Wow. I need some health packs, game. You got some Nolly Freaks for me, buddies? Let's see. There's crates over here. There we go. There's a health pickup. And another one. Good job, game. Good. Thank you for that. Okay, so I have weapon three now. This is the Stinger. It fires little blue crystals. And uh, you saw me firing those earlier. They are little and blue and crystalline. And... Oh, Jesus Christ. Those stupid plant things. Yeah, the ones in... um. What am I hearing? Is that music or sound effect? Oh, it's music. Um, the ones in, uh, in Half-Life 2 are actually a lot of, a lot easier to kill because they didn't have projectiles that shot towards you. widescreen or what, but as you can see, the crystals don't follow my, uh, my crosshair as much as I'd like. Oh, fuck me. That was hitting me. Oh, uh, rocket launcher guy is around here somewhere. I don't know where, but his rocket explodes. Flare. Uh, oh, 
I'm supposed to ride that thing up. I see. Hang on, I really want to... Ah, there they are. I want to take out these guys before I go up there, and I won't have much room to maneuver and dodge their missiles. them dead. Let's hit this elevator again. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're out of ammo for our crystal shooter thing. That's okay. We got our pistol still, and it has ammo still. Oh, come on, these guys. These freaking... It doesn't help that it's dark as hell in this room. Oh, by the way, if you notice the physics, these kind of hover. They don't uh, fall down. That's okay. Okay. We're on reeling it up. That's a phrase I just made. Hey, look, the skybox. Hello, skybox. By the way, I like the nice wood floors they have in the Unreal World. Okay, so this guy wants me to follow him, but here's the problem. If I follow him, is he going to die to an enemy? Like what happened previously. Yes, he is. Okay, but did you notice that this door opened? And I think this is the secret that that, uh, that, that guy was trying to tell me about. I'm not 100% sure it opened because of that, or maybe I hit something, like a secret trigger that opened it, but either way, I'm taking it. Um, I, can't, I don't think there's anything in that container that can be picked up. I'm just going to try to look. It's just an explosive box. There is something back here, though. Whoa, more ammo for this gun. Okay, good. I still only have 31% health, which is bad, but I'm alive, so I, and I have a shield, so at least that's good. I have 113 shield. And, uh, yeah, Maybe I should have put this on, like, Wimpy Baby Easy, which is, oh, come on, I hate these things. Wait, wait, let's explode them. I failed to explode them. just dead and I'm up to 68 health am I supposed to fall down here I think I am but let's go explore a little more first uh, I'm guessing there's gonna be a hundred plants on top here that that could come in oh yeah shit I'm in the lava um I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die yeah I'm gonna die where is my last quick save I wonder oh good I didn't save too far back okay so here's the deal Parts of this bridge collapse. Oh, um. Uh, hmm. I can't get up there. Okay, uh, let's try that again. So the leftmost board collapses. I don't know if there's a way to tell in advance which ones collapse and which ones do not. Wait, what am I hearing? I just fall off normally, so that's no good. Oh, there's the way up. Wow, I have four health. Um, I might just quick load and try that over again. Unless this guy has health packs. Do you have health packs? Hey, buddy. Can you show me health packs? What is this, though? Oh, it's a power-up for my pistol. Right. Okay. That's good, I suppose. This is the side of the bridge. I really don't want to continue this without health pickups. Oh, no, that's a second bridge. This is the other you side of the first bridge. Hey, do you have nolly fruit or something? Hey, buddy. Can you help me out anymore? 
You got something to help me out? So I save with 4% health. I say no, I don't. I'm just gonna jump over this bridge. And I. Okay, well that didn't work. Ah. Let's try going down here. Oh wait, am I backtracking? I seem to remember crossing a weird diagonal bridge like that before. I do want the pistol level up. I think I'm backtracking. I'm not sure. Yeah, I definitely am. Definitely am. However, there's health packs here that I hadn't used, so that's good. Okay. Um, how do I forward track? I do remember crossing this. Uh, I must have gone through here, right? Over here. And I hit those four buttons, which open this door? Question mark? Say it's this door. Oh yeah, and then up this elevator. Okay, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. I have more health now, which is good. Um, let's actually go ahead and click save. Okay, and that's a dead end. Um, so we do need to go past those bridges or to fall down and go up the ramp once you know where the ramp is. But the good news is at least I have more health this time. Instead of going at the bridges at 68% health, I'm going at 100 and, uh, oh right, this room. This. It's the weirdest little cargo loader thing. Just move a single crate in one very specific pattern. I'm guessing they were trying to show off their, uh, their engine scripting capabilities. It's like, look, instead of just, uh, tweening from, you know, one dimension, we can do, like, a tween in three different directions. It goes up, and then right, and then up. Okay, we've definitely been here. I killed the scars there. I got a secret in there. It's good. Very good. And, um... Almost back to the bridge, right? I fell down here. And then I looked down here, and it's like, oh, well, that's where I came from. So now I'm right back to where my little quick save is. Okay, so here's the deal. Oh, that was not a good deal. Um... That room to strafe, and I can't see where the fuck I am because it's so dark. Okay, whatever. Uh, 44 health. Oh, fuck, I killed him! No! Okay, let's try that again. I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm sorry. That was a crappy save. This time, let's try the rightmost board and see if it does It doesn't fall away. Okay, good. So it's the right board that doesn't fall away. Lesson learned. And now... I need to kill this dude without killing the Nolly dude, or having him kill the Nolly dude. Good, good. Show me the secret. Show me the secret. Yes! Now I got an upgraded pistol. Okay, good. I seem to remember that if you upgrade your pistol all the way, I think it has like five levels. Uh, it actually is pretty damn good as a weapon if you upgrade it all the way. Okay, thank you, Nolly. You have supported me. Uh, I'm going to quick save and then try this bridge. And I seem to remember if I just jump across, it works. Yep, and it does. Of course, there's one of those plants to piss you off, because why wouldn't there be? Okay, uh, I got that segment of the game. Sussed. Uh oh. Guards are really good at dodging. You waste a lot of bullets trying to fight these a-holes. Okay, here we go. And yes, I am quick saving like a bitch. In fact, even worse than that, I'm gonna slot save. Boom. Suck it. I bet there's another Scourge in here. No? By the way, it's really stupid of me to pick up um, a plus 20 health pack when I have 97 health. I am, oh, there's another Scourge. I am a stupid idiot moron. And you are welcome to make fun of me for that stupid decision. But I killed that Scarge and only lost 2% health, so he was not that threatening. So luckily it, it worked out in the end. Oh, an elevator. Oh, good. Is it just to get this crate? Oh, it gave me another stinger just in case I'd missed the first one, I suppose. I think there's a lot of secrets to this game, by the way, if you want to like speed run it. And, uh, 
basically a lot of the games of this era had just tons of secrets like every room had like a secret room stuff like that i'm not i'm not one to do that so you know i just play the games i don't try to master them or speed run them or 100 percent them or anything mainly because i do not have the patience what's hitting me oh it's this guy okay i know that, that weapon's a little more powerful since i upgraded it but it's, i still don't want to fire a charge Hide behind the craze, asshole. Is he dead? Yeah, he is. You can barely see his corpse there. Okay, great. Uh, that looks to be a dead end, although it's hard to tell since it's so freaking dark. Ammo. Activate the slap. Oh, shit! Oh! That was cheap! That was cheap as shit! Okay, how far back am I? Hopefully not very. Okay, not very far back. I know there's a scar. She's gonna jump. Where is he? There he is. He's just behind me. I'm doing worse this time around. No, that's okay. Okay, so now let's get these explosive barrels out of the way first. And then we're going to pick up the ammo. And then we're going to hit this. And then we're going to back up so I have room. There we go. That was like the game just saying, oh, by the way, you have to die to this once before you figure out what's... It's just like, oh yeah, there's an enemy here. You just have to die to it. Now, there's a, a tunnel here I want to go in, so... I don't know. I guess if I fall into it... Oh, wait, I fell the wrong... That didn't work. Hang on. Let's figure this shit out. Okay, so the elevator's normal position is down. No, it's up. Alien corpse disappeared on its way. There we go. I'm in the tunnel. Okay, I get bullets in here. Um, this room looks very familiar, doesn't it? But I don't think... I think it's new. I think this is just a secret area. And uh, I can get some armor in here. Whoops. I guess in theory I can. There we go. Yeah, got some armor. Good. Save. Okay, now I can use that elevator to go up. You know, I just said I don't like look for secrets or 100% games, but there you go. I just I just got that armor because I'm so good at Unreal. I'm the Unreal champion of all. Okay, now I'm atop the room I was just in. And again, I just want to emphasize when this game came out like in 1996 or 97, this number of polygons in a single room was pretty freaking amazing. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh, so what we're learning here is that fan, it pulls you. Okay. And, uh, now what? I don't know what these buttons did exactly. These don't seem to be elevators. Translator say, area must be clear for transport lift. That might be left over from an old thing. I'm not sure that's. Whoa. Oh shit! I got stuck in there again. Hang on, let's try this again. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay. Now wait. I think I know what happened. No, that that fan's already stopped. That fan's slow. Okay, all the buttons are pushed. What do you think that opens? I'm so afraid of that fan. It's killed me more than anything else in this game. Luckily, it doesn't seem to actually pull on you if you're down below here. Now that, that's always, that's empty again. Well, let's backtrack a bit and see if we can figure out what that might have done. done. Maybe, is this new? Yeah, that, oh, that's new. Oh shit, shit, shit. Load level, and there's a freaking enemy right freaking staring down your face. Cliffy B. That's all Cliffy B right there. Okay. Uh, this is good. Okay, well, I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and save this game in a slot and call it a night. 
And um, that's been Unreal. I don't know. Old game. I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I might continue playing it. I might not. It might just be a little bit of nostalgia I'm having right now. I don't know. We'll figure out what's going on soon. But uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.